Okay, so I was gonna make some ice cream tonight and I thought I would make a video because I found a new recipe that I wanna try. I hope it turns out good because normally when I make my ice cream, I always use one can of sweetened condensed milk and two cups of heavy whipping cream with whatever flavoring I want. And that always gives me a really creamy, nice ice cream. However, since I'm trying to really watch my sugar intake, um, I found this recipe. It's called Keto Chocolate Ice Cream with Caramel Swirl. So that sounds good. Um, <laughs> and it has, um, it's made with Swerve and coconut milk. So, and of course the heavy whipping cream. But the, um, that Swerve is a sweetener that I find on Amazon and it's a little pricey. However, it's the closest I've found to tasting like real sugar. The confectioners and the granular both taste like real sugar to me and it doesn't have that weird aftertaste like a Splenda and all of those do whenever you cook with them and I've tried them all, trust me. Um, so anyways, I've already started the, the caramel and because it says to start the caramel first and so basically in a medium saucepan, you're going to combine a half a cup of Swerve and two tablespoons of water. You're gonna put it over medium heat and bring it to a simmer, and then you're gonna to continue to simmer for five to seven minutes until it turns golden and has reduced. So I have it in our little um, new nonstick pan. And I honestly, I don't have, besides the 12 inch, I know the 12 inch and the multi-pot, I know exactly which ones those are. But as far as the size of, sizes of these, I'm not 100% sure. Um, this might be the two and a half quart saucepan. Anyways, I really like it. It's, it's a perfect little size. And again, you know, all of our new nonstick have removable handles, which I really love. And, um, that gets hot on that side. You can use metal on it. I don't, I still, I'm using my silicone whisk because I can't bring myself to use metal on these. But if some time I, I mess up and I accidentally stick a fork in here, I know I'm not gonna you know, mess up the pan. So that's great. So that's going, I'm gonna give it another probably four minutes. And then while I'm doing that, it says for the ice cream to combine all the ingredients in a blender. So, gotta be, ah, release, huh? Really? There we go. Okay, so it needs two cans of full fat coconut milk. And I just have this, Goya. Oopsie. I did rinse my can beforehand, FYI. Not that it matters because y'all aren't eating it. <laughs> All right, three quarter cup of cocoa powder. A teaspoon of, now this calls for sugar-free vanilla extract. I don't have that. So I have regular vanilla extract. I didn't know there was sugar in vanilla. However, I guess there is. So one teaspoon. Half a cup of unsweetened almond milk. I've got that ready right here. I spilled a little bit on my plate, so I'm gonna put just a little bit more in there. Just to make sure. There we go. See, I put it on the plate for a reason because I knew I'd spill it. Ooh, this is starting to boil. Let's see, until it turns golden and has reduced. Whisk in the butter, cream, vanilla, and salt. Okay, it hasn't really reduced much, so I'm gonna give it some more time. Okay, so, and I still have two more minutes, so we're good on that. A half a cup of Swerve. and one and a half teaspoons of gelatin. Hmm, that spoon is wet. Let me get another one. One and a half. I've never 
used just plain gelatin before. So we'll see. One. I love these measuring spoons because you can adjust them to whatever wherever you need them to be. They're great. And they're reasonably priced. Everybody says Pamper Chef is too expensive, but there's so many things that are under $30, under $20, under $10. So there's a lot you can get. And honestly, even the more pricey items, I mean, I still have things from 2007 that I still use. So you can't beat the, um, the quality of these. Make sure I have everything in there. Okay, combine all ingredients in a blender and blend until smooth. Gotta be smarter than this thing. I'm not really. Okay, that's good on that. Now let's finish this caramel up. Whisk in the butter, cream, and vanilla. So it calls for two tablespoons of unsalted butter. I keep butter cut up in tablespoon size. I just prefer the real butter. I don't like margarine in the tubs. So whisk in the butter, cream, vanilla, and salt. And I need a half a cup of heavy cream. I have that right here. And vanilla. I need one teaspoon of vanilla and a pinch of salt. One teaspoon of vanilla. Now, I don't know if y'all have one of these things. This is not Pampered Chef. I wish Pampered Chef had one. But I keep my salt in here for those times where it calls for a pinch. Bam! Pinch. Okay. And it says to simmer until it's slightly thick, but that it will thicken as it cools. So I'm going to just turn off the heat and let it sit here because now I want to work on the ice cream. Make it all this out of the way. And I normally don't like to have all of these, dirty all of these up, but I didn't want you guys to wait for me to measure everything out. So you're welcome. Trash. Okay. The ice cream maker. I keep it in the freezer all the time with the little silicone lid on it. And after you're done with your ice cream, you can keep it in this and cover it with that. However, I don't like to because it gets really, really hard in that. I like to clean it out right away and then I like to put it back in the freezer. This is the top part that turns it, and it has the timer, the power button and the timer on it. I usually set it for 30 minutes, and then whenever you're done, this part comes right off. This part, it just squeezes. You got to be smarter than it, though. How did I do that? 
pan. Oh, you gotta set it down. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, squeeze it, pull it right off, and then it cleans up easily. So that's how you do that. Then this says to pour Oh, sorry, I guess I should show you this part too. To set it on there, it has these little grooves in here. And this has a little ball thing. Just slide it in there and then it locks in place. This is the hole you'll pour your ice cream in. So you just plug it in. It powers on. Or you click power, sorry. Set the timer for whatever you want. I, I've always found that the ice creams take about 30 minutes. It'll start doing its thing and then you just pour in the mixture. Really, really easy. I just hope this is creamy because I've tried some of the other ice creams and they taste more like ice milk. You know when you go to a Chinese restaurant and you want some ice cream afterwards and you go over there and it tastes like ice milk. I don't like that. I need creamy ice cream. So I will give you guys a full report and I will show a picture after it's completed. Y'all have a good day.